Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and this is my first uh, recording, the first time I've recorded Wind Waker in well over a month. Um, so I might not do that great. Uh, previously we, uh, hmm. Wait. Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and previously on Wind Waker, we, um, got a letter. We reached, um, hmm. Whatever, Dragon Roost Island, and got a letter. Today, we're gonna, um, give that letter to Prince Komali in a new episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Uh, I tried to come up with a new intro style that wouldn't be just a Chugga Conroy ripoff, and that didn't go very well. Um,. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I mean, it's been, it's been well over a month since I recorded Wind Waker, so I'm kinda rusty with it. So if you have any suggestions for an intro that I could do, that wouldn't just be a knockoff of Chugga Conroy's intro, that'd be great. Just go ahead and leave it in the comments, and I'll see what I'll do. I might modify it a little. Anyway, um... Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously, in Wind Waker, we, um, I really don't know what we did. It's been so long ago. I know I edited the video recently. Uh, we got to Dragon Roos Island and got a letter for Prince Komali right here. Oh, we got the delivery bag. Um, yeah, we did other things. Uh, that was, I recorded that in like early March so yeah um <laughs> sorry about that I can't really remember much but we have to speak to Prince Kamali <sighs> what do you want from me huh I, oh you don't want to talk okay here yeah. a letter from him Oh, sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through all that horrible experience. <sighs> talk about it. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know really what talk about it means. Yeah. It's not like he still has to get a scale from Balu. Oh, wait, you're talking about that. Oh, I was talking about something else. Uh, you're in this letter, too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I don't really feel like getting going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you s trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you... I'll tell you what, if you can find me somebody who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost Island to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Alright. Um, okay. What? Oh, this? It's strange. Holding this calms me down. I forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called Din's Pearl. My grandma gave it to me. My grandma used to be Valu's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Valu's language. Oh, Grandma, if she were here, she, I know she, that she could calm Valu down. I just know it. But him and the rest, no matter how hard they try, they'll fail. I know it. No one else can calm Valu down. It's impossible. What? What is it, huh? Listen, you can stare all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure, you understand? I'm not going to just hand it over to some do-nothing guy, am I? Alright, we've got our first objective. Let's go do it. <laughs> but really, though, it's... Um... It's been a long time since I've recorded Wind Waker, so I'm really rusty. Plus, um, Breath of the Wild's control scheme for the camera 
is like really weird. No matter what I try with the camera's control scheme in that game, it just can't, it just doesn't feel right. Tried it inverted, tried not inverted, it, oops. Please wait. I've tried not inverted. Like I said, I've tried inverted and not inverted. I really can't get it to like feel good like this. And I have no clue where I am supposed to be going. I think I have to go over here. Wait, you're here again? Oh, by the way, earlier I got some rupees, green rupees. Uh... Why were you there? I already talked to you last time. Oh, and if you hear that out there, that's probably Mitty running around through the tunnel, cat tunnels. Um, okay, now, wait, there's some, what? They used to have such nice breezes blowing through here, now the air is crazy. Ah, okay, it's, yeah, so this is Cyclo, basically what Cyclos is. Ah, okay, so Cyclos is upset, he's just basically talking about that again. Um, so that's not obviously, that's obviously not the way forward. Uh, whoop. Oh. Whoa, boy, is that windy. Hmm, what? Oh, I didn't even know you could go up here before the end, before the, um, later on in the game, like at the end of the game. I guess it's ex to be expected in this heat, but just look, take a look down there. Dragon Roots Pond is completely dried up. Oops, wait a minute. Did Medley go this way? If Medley went this way, and she's not out there. Hmm. I don't know if she can fly at this point in the game. I think so. Yeah, I think she might be able to. I hope that's not a spoiler. I think we have to go out here. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, wait. Is this not the right place? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Here's Medley. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry about bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I need you needed help. Didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Falu, he became so angry and, in his rage, he shook the mountain this, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Komali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, okay. Don't get your thumb stuck between the D-pad and the C-stick on the GameCube controller because that hurts. I might be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Komali has taken. See, Prince Komali's grandma was the great Falu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I had possessed some of her strength, I'm sure that Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go, go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Oh, you can say no. I'm saying yeah. Phew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. 
then face that legend toss me the atmospheric currents are really messed up so pay close attention to the direction of the wind all right I'm ready don't hold back now throw me as hard as you can instead of um, going through with using the random wind directions um, and just timing it right I'm actually gonna like quote cheat you know and uh, use the wind waker actually Whoop. there we go uh, I got to center the camera right there push R up left right because there's wind in here because there's wind in here I can actually like make the force the wind to go a certain direction and then as far as I know it doesn't um, mess up or like it doesn't um yeah medley can fly I, I didn't know if that was a spoiler or not I don't think the wind changes after you set the wind direction to the right direction so it's just like making it way easier than it already would be I think I'll be able to climb dragon roofs and meet with the great Valu. don't worry I'll be fine I might just be an apprentice attendant but I can understand some of the great Valu's language I'm not exactly bursting with confidence but look if anything happens to me please look after Prince Komali this is all I have to give you I know it's not much but please take it you got an empty bottle it's apparently like super rare because Zelda games only have a few through the entire game yet there's a lot of pots that you can break and that's okay to break those for some reason set it to and use it set it to and use it with YZ or X bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things oh and please don't tell anybody that I'm climbing dragon roost it'll be our secret okay well good luck to both of us alrighty then gotta pause go over to go over to the bottle set it to X um take some water and it says that I filled my bottle with water try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered and now we go back um, up here Whoop. oops and nope, nothing over there but if you remember these flowers I didn't really point them out oh, the camera I'm used to the breath of the wild camera now See these flowers these are bomb flowers just drop some water on them and then pick one up and then uh, shoot a bomb flower or throw a bomb flower over there it'll land on the rock start a cutscene whoa that frame right and it will bring the water back up and now we can cross the water it's still really like, the volcano seems like it's still trying to um, erupt I don't think there's anything whoops anything in these nope so basically, Dragon Roost uh, Cavern, if you're not aware, this is basically our first um, mini dungeon thing. Our first actual dungeon, mini dungeon that we can use a sword. Oops. <laughs> the bomb flower kind of got stuck in the air. Hope I don't have to go back over there. What? Meet you over there. Oh, well, at least the, um, okay, that doesn't work. I saw somebody actually, like, took a bomb flower and, like, threw it over the, this thing. Uh, uh at least the things still stay down when you die. Okay, I'll, I'll cut ahead until I get this. Uh, 
Oops, that was close. Oops. Um. See, I don't usually have this much problem with... I don't usually have this much problem with this part of the game. I guess it's just the Let's Play curse. Oh nice, there's hearts in these rocks over here in case you need health. Although I don't see why you would need it if you're doing better than I am right now. Because usually I don't... I'm not this terrible at this part. Why is that going so far over? There we go. Took me like f three or four minutes just to get over here. Ugh. Just on that one thing. And now, in this next room, we've got these things. It's a block puzzle. Yay! I, what? No. Um. Why can't I pull this out? Well, I guess this is what we're, I guess this is the way that you're, you're supposed to fix it. Come on, let me pull it out. Where, ugh. Oh wait, we pull it with R. I forgot. Here I am used to, um, almost any other Zelda game, in Breath of the Wild, or, um, Skyward Sword, because Chugga Conroy's Skyward Sword, let's play. There we go. The audio is kind of not sounding that great. I don't know if that's just having my knack as a pastor or what. But anyway, I think after I light these torches and open this chest, I think I'm going to stop this episode here and then start a new episode because this one's kind of getting long. So let's see what's in here. And a small key. Where are we going to use this? Find out next time. Suspense. Yay. Goodbye for now. Hello everybody, I'm just kind of doing it. What? Um, what's going on? Okay. Uh, I could have had Link drown right here. Ugh. Such a missed opportunity. I'll have to do that this time. Yeah. That sounds great. There we go. Perfect. Okay, um... Hmm.